welcome to Behind the Fame. We have fabulous singer and songwriter Tedra Moses with us today. Hey girl! Hey girl! She was fabulous. She just had a show and it was awesome. She is so transparent. She just lets everybody into her world. If she's ever in your city, check her out. She's hot. Thank okay, you. so tell us a little bit about yourself. You grew up in Louisiana. New Orleans, Louisiana. Okay, yes. so how was that for you? Um, how old were you when you moved to California? I moved to California about 13, 14. Okay. So I went to high school in California, but growing up in New, York, um, New Orleans, I think, is the um, base of who I am. I'm a very down-to-earth person. People in New Orleans and Louisiana, we're very down-to-earth and... Um, very warm and welcoming. So kind of like how you see my stage show, that's yeah. really who I am. I'm a yeah. very warm and welcoming person. But at the same time, you know, I don't fool with everybody. Right. You, you know, but if I, if I, and you're yeah, like, but if I love you, I bring you in. That's kind of yeah. how New Orleans people are. We're very warm. Okay. Yes. And it shows. Awesome, Thank awesome. You. Um, okay, so let's see. You started out gospel. Your mom was a gospel yes. singer. So did she make you go to church? <laughs> she did. All the time, every Sunday, Sunday, Sunday and Wednesday and all the days? No, like, okay, so it's great because my mother grew up strictly in church. Like, you know, her, her father was a, her stepdad or something like that was a, a preacher. So she sang in the church. He would preach. So she had to go to church all the time, like all weeks, revivals, all kind of stuff. So by the time she had children, she was a little tired of it. Yeah. Oh. So... At first, when we, when we were young, she made us go to church all the time, Sunday school, all that. And then she just was like weaning herself out of it. You know, she was kind of tired. She had kids and she didn't want to be in church all the time. So by the time we were maybe about, I was maybe about nine, she stopped making us go so much. Okay. But still, that's my base, you know, hearing gospel music all my life. All your life. Mm -hmm. Okay. So where do you get your inspiration? Where did you get your inspiration to sing? Was that from your mother? That was from a situation I was in where I needed to take care of my kids. I was styling, wardrobe styling, and I decided that I didn't want to do that anymore. I'm the kind of person if I, I don't have passion for something, I just quit. You know, I don't have I don't have a plan after it. I just quit. <laughs> right. You, what they said that you you broke your you your leg. I broke my leg. I broke and then my they said you had an epiphany, and yes. then you got it. What? And I had an epiphany that I didn't want to do that anymore. Okay. And I said I had to find something myself. And at the time, my children's father was a um, musician, and I had him connect me with some musicians, and I started to do music. Okay. Were you writing first or singing? Um. I just, it all happened at one time. Mm -hmm. I'm just the type of person I'll just be like, okay, I'm going to do that. <laughs> and I'll start doing it. And right. either God will give me an opportunity in it and it goes somewhere or it doesn't. And that's okay. kind of just how it happens. Well, tell us about the artist that you worked with. Because you've worked with, she's written for some really wonderful people. That you, I, until um, I looked it up, I did not know that. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I've had an opportunity to work with some wonderful people. Um, Mary J. Lodge, Raphael Sadiq, Macy Gray, um... I forget because yeah. I don't really think about that it was part. Nivea, of Nivia, Nivia, uh, um, Christina, Christina Milian, and she had a hit. Hello, she wrote her hit. Yeah, I mean, I don't really think about it that often because I just stay so focused people, on what people I'm doing. People out there don't know that about it. I know. You know I know. A, she doesn't pop her collar, y'all. <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, she should be. She's fabulous. Oh, thank okay. You. So, what would you say to people who are inspiring to be in the business? What would you tell them about um, the struggle? What part of it? If it's just the art this, part, the struggle well, of being because it doesn't sound like you struggle too much. I don't let things bother me. Mm -hmm. I'm blessed to be here. Okay. It's not a struggle if you're doing what you love. Yeah, you know, it's true. I, I mean, I have ambition. I want to go very far, but I also am very appreciative of where I am. Mm -hmm. You know, I've made a lot of money. I've lost a lot of money. You know, it's like mm -hmm. I'm grateful. I've had great experiences from the time I started as a wardrobe stylist traveling around the world to a musician traveling around the world. I'm just a young girl from New Orleans that never even thought in her wildest dream she be doing something like this right. so I'm very grateful mm -hmm. but my contentment doesn't mean I'm not ambitious I'm ambitious right. but I think that people get so caught up on where they're trying to get to that they don't appreciate where they are and I think that would be something I would tell artists to appreciate where you are because what you are like taking uh, for granted someone is praying for that opportunity yes. so you have to be grateful and um, I just think you also have to be freaking good <laughs> okay exactly you just so can't be wrecked. good <laughs> I mean I feel I'm mm -hmm. good enough yeah. to contend. You yeah. know, yeah. I feel like I'm good enough to say, "Hey, I have a voice. I have something to say. Listen." 
you mm -hmm. know and some people say I have a voice I have something to say and it's like nobody wants to listen because it's not anything yeah. anybody want to yeah. hear and it also takes like drive though I know you you know it takes it people just keeping on keeping on let me tell you something it. about drive uh -huh. if you are passionate you have passion yeah. for what you're doing you will never stop because exactly. you're not doing it for people's approval you're not doing it for money you're doing it because you will not live if you don't do it right. you're doing it because you will cease to be who you are if you're not doing it and that's why I do music I want to take care of my kids. I want to make a lot of money. I want to go to high heights, all these different things. But if I don't make music, if I don't get on stage, if I don't travel around the world, I start to feel like sad. Yeah. I need Because it's a party. Who yeah, it's a party who I am. Yeah. Tell us about your kids. They're 17. <laughs> okay. Well, you know They're what? Grown. She has twins. <laughs> yeah, I have twins. Amazing. Yeah. So, you know, I didn't know that, but on stage you said you were a teen mother. I was a teen mom, yes. Okay, well, so I got pregnant to, as a teen. Yeah, I so you can speak to those it. women who are like, okay, even if you do get pregnant, things do happen, right? Yeah, and God's but will is perfect. But keep on keeping on. Just yes. know this. God's will is perfect. Don't let people beat you up for what has happened. That's God's will. You take that and you keep moving. It's not a deficit in life. You exactly. know, I feel like having children is part of why I'm able to sit here and talk to you now. It's part of why I had a song to sing right. because I had this situation. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. they gave me courage and maybe I wouldn't have done it if I didn't have children. Maybe I wouldn't even so awesome. felt She's like awesome. I was. That's oh, good. <laughs> that is so cool though. That's inspiring for someone. No, That's it's true. Very and inspiring I just think that you have to take mm -hmm. everything in life and make it something positive to push you. It's got to be fuel. Everything mm -hmm. has to be fuel mm -hmm. because God's will is perfect. You know, I have parents, that, all these different things have happened and somehow I'm turning to some type of song that has made me some type of money and gave me a great experience. So, <laughs> right. I can well, play. tell us out there what you have on deck. Well, right now I have a song available called Can't Be Love. How do we know? How do we know? How do we know this can't be love? So you have to go to iTunes or okay. Google Play or wherever you get your music mm -hmm. yeah. and um, download it. And I have a project coming soon. It was supposed to be slated for this month, but it's mm -hmm. been moved back. And it's called the Empress Pride Collections. But it's a lot of lot of records about my growth as a woman. Mm -hmm. And I think that I walk in royalty. I see myself as a queen. Not that people are less than me. Right. I think we're all up here. But I'm not going to bring myself down to you where you are because you don't feel that. Right. Well, I right. really feel like you know, regal yeah. royalty. Know. So the approach I came you know, on these records was like... Like about what I want and you know and and my state of mind of like if you're gonna be the person to give it to me then it has you know you can't come with this or that, yeah. or that you know yeah. and then I also sh showed a really um, a vulnerable side of myself and how much you know I beat my chest like I don't need this that and third but I really want to fall in love yes like high five me too yeah me well, too but it's not I'm not desperate no not at all I can do it without no. it but damn like, you but God, you want the right kind yeah. of love yes no. not, and I'm not settling so I'm not selling either, but I'm gonna. I've started some in between meantime <laughs> shit going on though. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> Cause you'll wait forever, girl. Exactly. Wait. Well, give them your Twitter. Tw Twitter. Help me. Twitter. Okay. Twitter. We can edit that. So let everyone know where they can find you. You can find me at Teacher Moses on Twitter, Instagram, on Te Teacher Moses on Facebook, and any of those things. A team of people have a. Uh, created all these things and I try to keep them in order if you add teacher Moses on any of those social networks I'll pop up all right check me out. well thank you so much your show was thank fabulous you. you have to check her out and this is behind the fame with Tidra Moses